You go ahead and bang him. You're going to bang her for today. You're going to bang him. And then if you don't mind, if you could just go ahead and bang both of those, that'd be great. What is going on, my favorite people? How you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with Mr. Piper, the Viper, here on Arc Center Map. And today we're going to get some stuff done. Today, I, I'm just... Every time I log on to this darn thing, I come out here and look at this mess of crap. There's a Pteranodon. There's no organization. Who lives here? Freaking hoarder lives here. I'm a hoarder. And I look like I should be on TLC's hoarding. You know where they bring like a psychiatrist in and the family comes in and tries to calm you down? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, that's me. I'm an arc hoarder. So I want to get under control by doing a couple things. Oh, there's an egg. Give me that Quetzal egg. I'm like, a, I'm freaking on those eggs, dude. Give me you. Because I'm going to be getting a giga here pretty soon. And get it. But anyway, yeah, I'm getting off traffic here. I look at I just have I have crap everywhere. Scorpions over here and everything is over here. So I want to build like a uh, an egg farm. I guess it'd be kind of like an egg farm, something that's got things more consolidated and organized. And then I want to get an incubation chamber because I'm breeding some rexes for some tech tier solo stuff. I know the tech tier looks cray cray and everybody's getting wrecked, but let me show you what I got going on over here. Here they are. Here you go. You see, you, got, you see this people evil. This is my Rex herd, and they're just they're just roaming. Well, I don't know why they're staying still. You guys stuck on something? Oh, they are stuck. Oh, they get there. They go. Um, they just roam around South Tropical, seeking seeking whom they may destroy, and they just wreck stuff. So, um, I got a. I know I have two 150s in there. I have a 135, a 120, and I just have them. Look at there. There's six of them. So. I have a, I, I've been I've been trying to get them to level stuff and farm some hide because I got this sweet purple T-Rex saddle blueprint I got out of, out of a drop and we're about to hit those drops in a second but I need these guys to farm a lot of hide for me and gain some levels so this is what I'm doing I'm just going to continue adding Rexes to this mess of crap until I get 20 of them I want 20 Rexes and I'm going to take 20 Tyrannosaurus Rex this is, gonna, this, this is not going to be this episode or next or probably not even the next but I want to get some breeding going on and I, the mutations. Like, I want to get into all that crap. So I got those guys out there farming for me and getting some levels because I'll be taking them to get the broodmother and the big old mega ape dude, the big old jalapatated reject looking guy. We're going to go see if we can get some tech tier, but tech tier, getting into tech tier is very complicated. Uh, it requires a lot of help, and I don't even know if it's possible to do it solo on official server settings, but God darn it, we're going to freaking try. All right, so uh, let me show you this Rex saddle that I got. Check it out. It's a journeyman Rex saddle. It's got 63.6 armor and 70.1 durability. So what I've been doing, see, I've been farming some stuff up for it as I've been gone, but um, it needs a lot of hide fiber and just a little bit of metal ingots. Not too much metal ingots, and I have a poop shoot ton of metal in here that I haven't even used. So I got that going on. But I'm going to go hit up the drops right now, some of them deep, deep sea loot crate to see if we can get something better, like a Mastercraft. That would be awesome to get a goddamn Mastercraft. So let's go do that now. Let me get my um, let me get my stuff here and go jump on Squidward. Well, actually, let's. Uh, I need to check the volcano first. Do it. Oh, guys, thank you so much for um, like the comments on my last video as far as the update and give me some ideas. You guys have some awesome ideas, and I think the winners the the most common one was uh, a heavily modded Skyrim, which is going to be cool. And I do intend to get a um, I don't know when, but I do intend to like busting out some super modest Skyrim and do some gameplay on that. That would be cool. I never played Skyrim. I played ESO. So it'd be a first for me. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for uh, for the feedback, guys. I really do appreciate that. Okay, the volcanoes had no loot crates, so that means we're going deep sea fishing. All right, I have no, I'm not having any luck with these deep sea crates, so I'm just going to go home so we can get some stuff going. Alrighty, we have made it back, and yep, I didn't I didn't want to spend too much time looking for uh, sea crates, but I was just going to see if I could find something cool, but uh, that didn't work out. So now it's time to build an incubation chamber and breed some of them, breed that mess of rexes over there, so we can. Get, oh my God, these eggs are, these eggs ain't loyal. Look at them, don't you love them? Isn't it? I mean, it's it's sad to say, but if I'm if I'm having a bad day, and I come down here and play Ark, and I see all these colorful eggs. It just instantly gets better. Is that sad to say? It probably is. It's just, I love eggs. I love real life eggs too. Scrambled, ooh, yeah, some, with some toast and some bacon. Um, all right, so let's get some stuff built up here. So I know for a fact that I'm going to need some freaking air conditioners and I'm just going to make eight of them. 
Um, so what do we need for an air conditioner? Man, I mind wiped a couple days ago and it sucks going back through going back through here and learning all this crap. What do I need? Electronics. So okay, cool. So let's turn this on and let's make let's make a hundred of them. We'll start with the hun dog. We'll start with the hun dog and go from there. Meanwhile, while that's crafting up, we can go ahead and figure out a spot for this. Now my Inky is under here, but it'd be cool to do it on top of there, wouldn't it be sweet? So I could just build it on top of there and then have some. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't think I'm doing it out of metal though. I think I'm, I think I'm just going to do it out of woody woodpecker. And let's see how that's going to go. Let's see how is that. What is that? Four wide. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get some ma uh, some ramps made up and put them on there, and then just get a look at it while we get up there. All right? Where's my Therizinosaurus? He's got a bunch of woody wood on him. Okay. So let's grab this and let's get some ramps made up. I'll be right back at you. All right. I changed my mind. I'm going to do metal because it's metal and you might as well keep it looking good, right? This is going to be a permanent thing here, which it is. I need to make it look pretty. So I got some mini base in there. Okay. So let's make uh, structures, metal. We'll start with the ramps. I haven't, I haven't learned the ramps yet. So we'll go do, do, do. Where? Come on, just give me a god darn ramp for Christ's sake. Okay. Metal ramps. So let's make one, two, three, four. We'll see if four are start. We'll start with four and see how it goes. There we go. That looks good. Doesn't it look good? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close this off with some walls. I'm going to close this part off too because I don't need it. And I'm going to put a metal gate. Yep. I'm going to put a metal gate frame right there. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. All right, so we're starting. We got it going so far. Like I, like I said, I'm just gonna, I just closed this little area off right there because I don't need it, but I do need it. I do need this. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna match it up four high all the way around. Slap some ceilings on that little boner boy and get it going. All righty then. We'll just slap that there and open sesame. All right, this is my incubation chamber thus far, people. People. Now I know this is ridiculously high. I know I didn't need to go that high. I just wanted to make it symmetrical with my gate, my Gatosaurus Rex here. And um, I like it. I think it's going to look good. So now I need to get some. Uh, I'm gonna just line the air conditioners. I may not go. I may just. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Let me get some ACs made. I got some made right now. Let me see. How many of these bung holes do I have? Oh Lord Jesus, the lag is real. Uh, how many of these bung holes I have made? So I have one. So I have six of them made up here. And let's go ahead and slap these little bung holes down. All right, so I got six. I'm going to put eight total. I'm going to put one uh, on each side coming this way. And then uh, get some electricity run to it and see what it's going to do. All righty. That, okay, sweet. This is what I want. So I need to get, I just went ahead and built my its own little generator out here. And uh, because I didn't feel like my generator, check out where my generator is now. I have it tucked away pretty good. And um, I just didn't want to run these electrical lines. So this is where my generator is now. So this is kind of like the back end of the house. And all my wires are ran under here, so you can't see them crap protruding out of the walls. And that the incubation chamber is right through the crack there. And I just didn't, I, like I said, I didn't want to do that. It's going to look ugly. Like, it's not already ugly, but you know what I mean. And uh, I think I like it. I think that I like it. I think that I love it. And I think that I want some more of it. Because I got some frigid airs up there that I could put some meaty meatballs in there. And I got all these dudes up. Let's go get some gasoline and fire this bad boy up. All right, you go ahead and put all this stuff in here. Turn it on, baby. Give me magic. Okay, great. Let's see what we're looking like. As f okay, this looks cool. Doesn't it look cool? That looks cool. Look at all the greenage. Look at all the greenage down here. Okay, so let me see what kind of insulations we're grabbing. 739. Oh, wait, I got Gilly on. Let me take all this stuff off. We got between 750 and 800 insulation around, so that should be good. If not, I can go ahead and slap a couple of more ACs up here if I want and uh, add to it but I like my incubation chamber a Rex can get out of here I got some meat up there daddy loves it ask him daddy you love it loves it all right so now now that I got that part done I'm kind of arced out for today but I do want to get the Rexes going so let me get my Rexes over here and just I'm just going to put them in here and breed them and start start incubating the eggs I mean, just imagine, just imagine for one second, just, just let's, let's get real for a second. Let's get real here, guys. You are in a prehistoric time. You're riding a god darn Pteranodon and you have an army of Rexes. Nothing's better. There's nothing better. There's nothing better I can imagine besides like some hot, steamy sexual intercourse with Megan Fox. But other than that, huh? You feeling me? Okay. 
So, this is the moment of truth. I want to get all these dumb ball sack boys in here. And I want them to get them all in one go. So... One, two, three, four, whoop, whoop. Oh no! Is everybody in here? Okay, great. This, the Rex orgy is about to commence. Everybody's just gonna bang each other. Just bang each other. Uh, yep, just bang each other. You go ahead and bang him. You're gonna bang her for today. You're gonna bang him. And then if you don't mind, if you could just go ahead and bang both of those, that'd be great. And wait a minute, why is everybody banging? You guys should be banging each other, man. Oh, oh, I don't even know who's banging who. This is bad. You guys are going to be on the Mario Povich show. You are the father. Oh my God. Everybody's just, we're, guys, grab your popcorn because this, the Rex sex show has just begun. Oh, I thought that was an egg, just a turd. Oh, there's another one back here. Are you banging? No, yeah, you're banging. All right, well, I don't know who, I don't know what's going to happen here, guys. No idea. So, let's get an egg. Man, what do you call what do you call that? I didn't see that in the Kama Sutra. What is this like the the ankle biter? That's a new position. You guys, you guys are creative. Oh, we got one egg. Move. Give me that egg. Okay, I got one egg. Thank you, whoever did that. Let me go ahead and disable wandering on you. So I guess I'm looking for three more. So I got four females. Okay, four females and two males. That is awesome. Oh, got another one. Thank you. Oh man. Oh, another one just popped up. Give me you. Oh, Lord, it's by the turd. Guys, you can't contaminate the eggs. Come on, come on. Move, move. Oh, oh. Got it. One more should be coming around. No, is that it? Only got three? Only got three. Well, that sucks. All right, well, we got three eggs here, guys. And check out the levels on this. 239, 229, 246, 229, 216, and a 219. Tell me we're not going to get some badass Rexes out of this. I really hope so because I need them for the uh, I need it for the tech gear. Move! I need them for the tech to tech to tech to tech gear. So let me get this mess under control here. How they? I haven't checked their inventories in a while since I tamed them. So, and I'm giving these guys all damage because um, they have some decent saddles for their health. And the Majigger dude who I got to kill, the Broodmother and stuff, they're all timed up. So I need I need some DPS. Okay. I got that mess straightened out. They're all good to go. So you guys have fun. Farm up some meat. I'm going to go put my my eggs in the uh, the chamber of incubatedness and see what happens. All right, people. They are all incubating. Now, the idea, what I probably should have done is got the best male and just put the females in it. But I didn't feel like going through that. And I just wanted to see all the Rexes just have a big old Rex orgy. And I got three eggs out of it. So I'm anxious to see if we got any mutations. That would be sweet. So we got it done. All right, people, we got it done. I didn't get to, uh, I'll probably wait till next episode to get my egg farm going because we're running out of time here. And uh, I just wanted to show you what I was doing as far as get my Rexes ready for the arena. And I need a lot more Rexes. So that's what I got going on. All right, guys, that's it. We got the freaking incubation chamber done. And I'm on the road to 20 Rexes to try to solo on vanilla settings and unlock as much tech gear as I can in the arenas. Solo the arenas with some decent Rexes, with some decent saddles, and I'm on the road. So you guys want to stay tuned to see if, these guys, if we get any cool mutations out of these dudes. That would be cool, and um, I'll see you next time. Guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and be my friend. And if you like the video, go ahead and like it because it makes me feel good, and it helps me out. You guys stay safe. Bring in the bird!